both with outstanding records. Look at the height difference that Eduardo brings into it, even though he's the guy who was normally fighting 135, and he does have a good reach advantage at 71 to 68. Here's Michael C. Williams. From the Garden here in New York City, Bellator MMA Live on the Zone now presents a featherweight feature scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at five foot seven, weighing in 145.8 pounds on a 17 fight win streak. He comes in tonight with 22 professional victories, only one loss. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, Juan the Spaniard Archuleta. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at five foot ten, weighing in 145.6 pounds. The two-time former Bellator bantamweight world champion moves up to featherweight, bringing 21 professional victories, six defeats. Hailing from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, introducing the do Eduardo Dantas. In charge of the action, your referee, Blake Thrice. Blake Rice will be the third man in the Bellator MMA cage overseeing this featherweight fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Come over here. Fight! The bell goes. Round one, they touch gloves. Eduardo Dantas in the red gloves. Juan Archuleta in the blue gloves. Dantas representing the vaunted Nova Union cap while Archuleta trains with Dwayne Ludwig and uh, a lot more high quality voices and talents in that camp. Boy, you're talking about the training line. Dwayne Ludwig coming in. These guys going to him at times. But Dwayne Ludwig has made a huge difference. In Watch the fingers in his eyes, game. please. You can see the improvement in Juan Archuleta since he's been coached by Dwayne Ludwig. What about the Nova Uniao pedigree under the tutelage of Andre Pedaneras? Uh, fingers! You're talking about guys Watch that have titles. We talk about you know, Jose Aldo, BJ Penn, Marcos Carvalho, who, who, who of course Dantas has been for the title and they're training partners and friends. Exactly, he and Baha, the list is long and distinguished from that camp. Alina Leigh McFarlane at the desk alluded to the fact that Dantas, and he has had a lot of injury problems over the years, but that knockout against Michael oh, McFarlane when he went down. Thank you. Broke You're okay? Tom in, fight! His right ankle, and he was able to, to get back for within eight months. And he picked up a unanimous decision win over Toby Misak and Bellator 215 in February. That was a good win psychologically for Dantas. He needed that win because he needed to know, I can still move, I can still do what I need to do. And my leg is going to respond, I'm not going to have a problem. And he got that in the past. Archuleta taking a lot of odd angles, big steps, back and forth movement. This is what he has worked on with Dwayne, and he's very effective. With. What's been the, the biggest key for Archuleta? Surprised if it makes 10 15 seconds, he doesn't 
say from Venice Beach, that's because of his work on Kingdom from the rest of his career. He's going to be from Venice Beach. That was a beautiful route. He's really good. The Hulkster was built from Venice Beach as well. He's had a few memorable moments in this Just a couple. Good. Really good chain. He's got a decent. Good shot. Good shot. Ready, back, 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 back. Ready, fight! Bell, round two. How does your unofficial scorecard look unofficial. after the first round? Unofficial, I have Archuleta winning the round. He landed the better shots. He controlled the position more. He had the better knee strikes. He gets the round. Archuleta singing the praises of Dwayne Ludwig. He's taking him under his wing. He says he's really starting to get a feel for his system and incorporating it into his fight game. And what is that system based? Yeah, well, that's where, you know, Dwayne got all of his start was through the Holland style, that Dutch kickboxing style of Boss Root. But the one thing I will say, look, Boss is remarkable and a remarkable teacher. But Dwayne has taken what Boss has given him and he's just expanded upon it and made it special. Be careful what you say about my friend, Pato. <laughs> Almost a minute gone here in the second round, Archuleta. Realizing lateral movement, Dantas trying to find the right angle, the right front of the
Rams and gave him a problem against the Cleveland Browns. Ricky was able to slow down and make those shots, and he was not used to it, not getting those shots on him. Not to say that he was going to be fucking like an animal. He's obsessed with getting his title back in the end, testing the waters here at 140 pounds. These guys already fought once on Twitter because they had a social media battle going on. They treated each other like Twitter troglodytes. Montez has not finished a fight since March of 2014. Has one fight of his last seven. Now he goes back and forth footwork that Montez and David Anglis said to create that. What he learned from Dwayne, he is making it effective in his fights, and Dantas is having a hard time figuring out when he can set his feet to throw hard. Well, the reason this fight is taking place at Featherweight, according to Archuleta, is that the top frame that Levitor gave them, and he said it's going to be better for both of us because they're going to be fully hydrated and performing at the best job earlier today. We talked about that. Thank 
incredible knockout victory here. Take a look at the right hand. Boom! Right on the button. It puts Dantes to sleep as he's falling down. Big shot by Juan Archuleta. Everything behind it. He knows as soon as he lands it, it's over. He knocked out Robbie Peralta at Bellator 201 in June of 2018. And with just one second left in the round, Archuleta annihilates Dantas. DJ Dillashaw in one archer at his corner. And part of that whole tour uh, battle the right. was back to saying things about DJ Dillashaw. One archer at defending his teammate. And you let me go, hey, DJ Dillashaw knows this game. He has been an incredible <laughs> champion. And to have a guy like that in your corner during your fight, it can only help you get back. I'm on an 18 shot. Make sure my kids come in there. Concern for Eduardo Dantas, who is receiving medical attention at this time. On the receiving end of that devastating punch, but it's victory. Look at that tribal quartet. Tiki Golson, TJ Dillota, Tom Swanson, and the victorious Juan Archuleta. Coming up from the June 12th first. Boxing returns to the zone. Andrew Cancio against Alberto Machado for the Super Featherweight title. Saturday, June 29th, Demetrius Andre against Maciek Suletsky for a middleweight championship. And unfortunately, a stretcher has been brought into the cage. And again, we celebrate the visceral nature of a knockout. Everyone loves the knockouts, but the good thing is that Eduardo Dantas is standing, thankfully. Dante, and Eduardo Dantas electing to leave under his own volition and even manages to shake hands with Juan Archuleta. And uh, uh, Dantas has been a, a terrific warrior, a former two-time Bellator Bantamweight champion. But was knocked out for the third time in his career as we go to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, four minutes, 59 seconds into round number two. The end comes suddenly. Your winner by knockout, Juan the Spaniard Archuleta. Straight wins with a scintillating stoppage for Juan Archuleta. Let's go to Big John McCarthy. Boom! Boom. <laughs> Man, that was an explosive right hand that you hit him with. How did you feel as far as when the fight was going? You started to pick him apart in the second round, started landing really big shots. How were you feeling in here? John, we're on an 18-fight win streak. I'm the number one contender at 135, 145. Horiguchi! Where you at? Come fight a real 35-pounder, baby! You are not leaving the stakes with that belt! Mark my words! Jack Doyles, come tonight! I'm signing my world title contract! Don't miss out, baby! Let's talk about that knockout. Right at the end, you landed a couple of good shots. He tries to come in with a kick, you blocked it. What were you thinking when you threw that right hand? Big John, all I can say, all I was thinking about is Horiguchi! You are not leaving the States with that belt! Come back! I got one question to ask you. You got Horiguchi, you got the featherweight tournament. What's more important? I'm telling you what, Big John, I'm the number one contender at 145, makes me the number one contender at 155, and I'm the 135 number one contender, three titles, here I come. I've had four before, one organization, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Spaniard Juan Archuleta. And amped up Juan Archuleta as he
He dispatches Eduardo Dantas in violent fashion. Now owns an 18-fight winning streak and so many options for the Spaniard.